Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Um, I'm very lucky today. Um, I'm at the European Masters Car and Coke. Uh, Abacus have sorted this out for me, so I'm very excited. Solheim Cup Captain, LET Legend. Legend, Thank you. is legend? Yes. Legend status. So, being a captain, you are going into this event, home, home Germany? Sweden. Oh, no, no, Germany, yes. Ger so Germany, the, Germany. The, yes. the event is in Germany and yes. you could be going for the hat trick. The first time Europe we are, have yeah. got the hat trick. Yep. I'm the first person to ask this question. Definitely, I've never had this question before. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you feeling the pressure? You know, I see it, I don't see it that way. I think we've won the last two. Um, the US has lost the last two. I would feel more pressure if I lost two in a row. Okay. I don't Fantastic. think it would be fun to lose three in a row. So I think, I think the pressure is on them. Yeah, and we, we obviously, like my background's more into the men's game, so I'm, I'm more rider cup based. Well, and I'm leaving now. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just, I don't like lying. I don't like lying. <laughs> but when, when we talk Europe in the Ryder Cup, we say how we're more of a group, as in we gel mm -hmm. better together. Do you think that's the case with the Solheim Cup as well? I think so, definitely. We always had a very easy time becoming a team together. Okay. I do think that this year the Americans have a fantastic captain in Julie Inkster. Okay. I think she will probably be able to bring the team together more than uh, other, maybe other captains have. She has some daughters that are the same age as some of the players okay. and I think she'll be able to relate to the players and she's, she's a great person, great personality and I think if anyone can do it, she can do it. Okay. So. And that'll be interesting because you've got a fantastic record playing, she's got mm -hmm. a fantastic record mm -hmm. so you're both taking in sort of that winning mentality. Um, my last question and this is so, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's very similar the selection as in the Ryder Cup, as in you have X amount of players from the LET, you then pick some from the world ranking, and then you get your wild card? Yes, there's four players that uh, come off a, a point system. Okay. And you get points from playing LET events and also the majors. And that's been going on since the last Solheim Cup in 13. Okay. And then there's four off the world rankings, and then I get four picks. And with your four picks, is that going to be difficult, especially when you're looking at people from all over the world? Yeah. Mean, no, how, how are you going to try and how are it, you going to try and pick? It's going to be very difficult. You know, it's it's uh, it's not well. It, it's it's great because it's a, it's an opportunity for me, and I think this year because so many players are doing really well, it's going to be a, a good problem. Uh, but it's also very difficult, of course. I have to look at you know, a lot of stats. I have to look at who's making birdies and making putts and, and also personalities okay. and also how they've done in the past or if they're a rookie. And there's so many different things to look okay. at. So um, it, it will be difficult, but I think it's, it's great that I do have the four picks because I can really uh, you know, choose one third of my team and, and, really mold, and that's going to help that team okay. spirit to get the team together. Oh, fantastic. Because like, you spoke to Paul McGinley, haven't you? You kind yep. of used him as a mentor of it. Because I know sort of with the Ryder Cup captain, some have said they want four picks. Others have said, oh, well, I only actually want two. Yeah. So you're really all for having the four? Well, it's worked the last couple of times. Yeah. So I, I wasn't going to change anything that's been working. No. <laughs> yeah, that's always a risk going in and changing things. Yeah. But, uh, and going back to sort of Paul McGinley, seeing him in action have you kind of learned a lot from him well it was nice to be at the Ryder Cup a year before the Solheim Cup just a lot of it just to get the feeling the spirit okay. and the atmosphere but it was nice to talk to him and see their team rooms and everything and then I also had dinner with him a couple months ago and um, it was good to listen to him and, and hear his thoughts and I think some things are very similar and some things aren't so I, I have still have to take what I can take from him uh, but no, he's been great, and, and uh, you know I can I can ask him the next couple of months also what, okay, you know, for, for advice. And you're like you're full on because you're even like with the clothing like obviously Ab Abacus you're wearing that now, but yep. you've actually had a bit of an input on what the team will be wearing. Definitely, as soon as it was you know done that Abacus would be a sponsor again, which is great because they've done such a good job now for for several Solheim Cups. Uh, I had a meeting uh, with Abacus and, and the designer. And we went through, you know, the, the different clothing and the different designs. And I had my input. And uh, I, I love fashion. I love clothing. Okay. So it's kind of a dream come true for me to do that. So um, no, it's been great working with them. They're so professional, and they have 
you know, just wonderful clothing. Even today when it's hot here, I'm not too warm because I have good material yeah. in my shirt, you know. And, As do but, I. And, and, <laughs> yeah, exactly, really good. <laughs> but also, you know, for the team, it's not that easy because you have 12 players and one might be 50 years old and one, one might be 18, you don't know. I mean, there's such a spread and one might be a bigger size and smaller. So you have to find things that really fit. It, it might not be what I would pick, but it's something that would fit everybody. Okay. So, and with Abacus having done it now so long, they, they know, you know what works for, for all the players. Because I would be like, well, I like that style, but it might not be something that everybody likes. So you, it, that, that really, it's, it's helped so much to have someone with experience there. Okay, perfect. So we're definitely going to be the best looking team. Definitely, yeah. And we always are. And hopefully we will be the winning team. So good luck. That's the plan. You've got yeah. a massive, massive task on your hands. Um, I don't you. want, thank I don't you. want no that pressure. task, so I'm going to now step back and I'll let you do your thing. <laughs> and, and thank you, thank you for doing this video with me. No problem. Thank um, you. I hope to catch you soon.